Good day everyone. This is Refresh Time with Evangelist Bumi Boye Fakeye. I believe you've been having a wonderful day by the grace of God. Today we'll be looking at while on duty. While on duty. The Bible tells us about Zachariah and Elizabeth in Luke chapter 1. If we read from verse 5 to 14, it gives an account about them, about their life. And in verse 8 specifically, the Bible tells us this. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, to be on duty is to be actively engaged in an assignment or in a task, in an occupation, to be actively engaged. It is also doing what one ought morally or legally to do. It is also having a strong sense of responsibility to do something. Zachariah was described and his wife Elizabeth, they were both described as devoted, obedient people and they served wholeheartedly. Zachariah was a priest and we are told that although they had no child, they continued to serve God faithfully. And on one occasion while Zachariah was on duty, in the temple, as he was ministering, the angel of God appeared to him while he was on duty ministering. And they, he gave the good news, you have a son, and uh, you know, just gave them the good news from God, the son will be used mightily. And just as declared by the angel, it came to pass, they had John. And John, as we know, was mightily used by God. And today God is telling us that while on duty, we need to be on duty. We need to be on duty. We all have a duty post. We all have a duty post assigned to us by God, even around us in your workplace, as a man, as a woman. We, have, we all have a divine assignment. And uh, there's nobody that doesn't have a, 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 you know, a duty post. The youth, the man, the woman, a clergy, a minister in the house and even in your wherever you find yourself there's a duty post that God has assigned for you and as we can see in the, from Zachariah he did not allow what he was going through or what was happening around him to prevent him from being at his duty point from being at his duty post a lot of people, when they are going through issues, they allow it to prevent them. Some people you even say, I'm not even doing it again. After all, since I've been doing this, what has happened? But as we can see from Zachariah, he did not allow what he was going through to prevent him from functioning at his duty post. And that is why God is saying, we too, we need to learn not to abandon our duty post, not to take it, you know, carelessly. We need to take it seriously. Don't abandon your duty post, whatever responsibility God has assigned to you or that you are carrying out in your workplace, in the home, in the family, in the neighborhood. God wants us to be at our duty post. Not only to be there, but to be actively engaged at our duty post. And I declare, receive the grace in the name of Jesus. You know, uh, whatever task God has assigned to you, are you there presently? God wants us to serve faithfully at our duty post. If Zachariah was not on duty that day, we all know that he would have probably missed the blessing. The blessing he had been asking, praying about to have a child for years. He would have missed it that day. And he would have not only missed the blessing, he would have missed a divine appointment, divine encounter, restoration, and all the blessings that are attached to his duty post. And this has happened, a lot of people have missed their blessings. They've missed divine encounter, restoration, because they are not present at their duty post. And I declare, receive the grace to be faithful at your duty post. Receive the grace not to abandon your duty post in Jesus' name. Unfaithfulness has made a lot of people to miss it. You will not miss it in Jesus' name. There are blessings that are attached to our duty posts that are assigned to us. Just as we can see, it was while Zachariah was at his duty post 
That was when he received his visitation. So there are blessings that are attached to our duty posts because God is a rewarder. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 that God is a rewarder. And the God we serve is also a faithful God. He's a faithful God and he expects us to serve faithfully even as he too has been faithful to us. Let's look at some of the rewards of faithful service at our duty post. Number one, we are bound and increase in blessings when we are faithful at our duty post. We can find that in Proverbs 28 verse 22. Number two, it also leads to answered prayers and divine visitation. Answered prayers and divine visitation. It was while on duty, at his duty post, that Zachariah received his divine visitation. Number three, it leads to lifting. And we can see that in Luke chapter 12 verse 42. It leads to honor also. David was serving faithfully, taking care of the sheep, and he was lifted. The man of God, uh, Samuel, said, see, we are not going to sit down until you bring David. So it leads to lifting. Another thing that it leads to, it leads to all-round fruitfulness. All-round fruitfulness. You receive it when you are faithfully serving at your duty post. It also leads to divine speed. It leads to restoration and so many other blessings that time will not permit me to mention. Today, God wants us to make a decision never to be found wanting at your duty post, at your divine assignments that has been assigned to you. At the duty post, blessings are attached to it. So make a decision to serve faithfully. Receive, receive, re reject every laziness, every procrastination, every nonchalant attitude, lack of discipline, critical attitude, wrong mentality and wrong work ethic that can hinder you from being faithful at your duty post and i declare receive the grace to be faithful in the name of jesus every spirit every wrong mentality that can hinder us from being faithful at our duty post i declare them being cast out in the name of jesus and i declare all the blessings of faithfully serving at your duty post the blessings of lifting promotion, expansion, divine visitation, all round blessing, fruitfulness. I declare they are all yours in Jesus' name. Make a decision not to abandon your duty post. And if you've abandoned your duty post presently, you can make a decision to get back to work as you serve faithfully. In the church of God, in your workplace, in your career, be faithful because blessings are attached to your duty post. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. I declare God bless you and cause his face to shine upon you. May he satisfy you with good things and enlarge your coast in Jesus' name. I declare all needs are met in Jesus' name. Remember to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a wonderful and blessing-filled day in Jesus' name. Amen.